Uh, so in narcolepsy, you have basically five symptoms. We talk about the pentad of narcolepsy. So you have excessive daytime sleepiness, you have cataplexies, a loss of muscle tone triggered by uh, positive emotions. Uh, you have the disrupted nocturnal sleep and you have sleep paralysis and hallucinations occurring at the transition be between sleep and wakefulness. So these are the five main symptoms for the diagnosis. But then when you go um, further into the details and you try to phenotype the patient, you realize that they have also a lot of complaint about uh, focusing their attention, for example. So we call that the cognitive dysfunction as a whole. And it's been um, studied recently, especially in a meta-analysis and, um, so, and also in a, um, a review paper published this year. Uh, so there seem to be three main um, domains that are impaired in narcolepsy. So attention is one of the most impaired, uh, but also learning and memory and also executive uh, problems. And the good news is that the new drugs I was just talking about earlier seem to um, be effective on such dysfunction. So this is very important uh, for the clinician and also for the patients to be aware that we can um, analyze also other symptoms beyond sleepiness, especially cognition. And then we'll probably be able to uh, treat these symptoms. About uh, cognition in uh, narcolepsy type 1 and type 2 and IH, idiopathic hypersomnia, there has been a recent publication. Uh, it's a meta-analysis um, with um, 39 studies in adults and children and patients treated and untreated. And basically they found that three main uh, components of cognition seems to be impaired in narcolepsy. And they are learning and memory, executive dysfunction and attention. And especially in the secondary analysis, they showed that sustained attention seems to be uh, the most impaired.